Hello art friends. Today we're going to be doing a silhouette picture inspired by the artist Kara Walker. So here's mine. It's a kind of a narrative picture of a day at the beach and um, and it's created with silhouettes. So I'll tell you about silhouettes. You can see what they are. A, an image of a, a, a an image of something without any interior details in black and I cheated a little bit with a few little details but mostly just black. Just the outline of an object um, and filled in with black. It's called a silhouette. So we'll learn about silhouette. Um, we just did a little bit. And we will look at the work of Kara Walker that's famous for her silhouettes, her narrative silhouettes. And she's a contemporary artist who's still making artwork today. Recently, um, I saw her in the news for a sculpture she created for the Tate Museum in London. So a contemporary working artist, Kara Walker. We'll learn about her, and then I'll show you how to create your own silhouette inspired by this artist's work, Kara Walker. So let's get into it. Here is a photograph of the contemporary artist Kara Walker and you can see here some of the silhouette features in the sides of this portrait of her. And here is another photograph of Kara Walker standing in front of some of her artworks. This gives you a sense of the scale. These are large wall size silhouette artworks. Now Kara Walker became she graduated um, with a master's degree in fine art and pretty like immediately after graduating became famous for these silhouettes and um, was hired by a, ren a renowned prestigious university in New York City, Columbia um, to teach art. So fame came for her at a very young age and she's talked about that. Um, and I'll show you later a video of her talking about her work and her path to silhouette art. Silhouette. The outline without any interior details. So you can see here the silhouettes of these um, figures. The silhouettes are white. The background is black. Here the silhouetted figures are on black paper and then the background is white. Here's another one with the black figures and the white background. Now the subject matter of Kara Walker's art is the antebellum South, the slave era, and the narrative, the story that she tells in her artwork is about the violence and the brutality of that time um, with slaves. And it's, I'll be honest with you, it was difficult for me to find images that I felt like were appropriate for me to share because a lot of it is disturbing. Violence, brutality, those are those are big ideas that she shows in her artwork and wants to um, talk about and show, talk about in the sense that communicate about through her artwork. Um, so narrative, telling a story in her artwork through silhouette. More recently, this is a sculpture um, that she did in London, and here's a really recent one. This is when I mentioned that I saw her on the news talking about this sculpture at the Tate Museum in London. So recently she's been doing sculptural work. Here's a more, another recent photograph of Kara Walker and what I'd like to share with you is some videos of her where she's talking about her path to creating silhouette artwork. So let me show you Kara Walker talking about her art. My name is Kara Walker and the title of my show. We are exceedingly proud to present an exhibition of capable artworks by the notable hand of the celebrated American Kara Elizabeth Walker, Negress. I started working with the silhouette, I started cutting paper uh, after I abandoned painting. <laughs> I, I was studying painting and wanted to be a, a proper oil painter and I was trying to make very large gestures. And, uh, and I realized that painting wasn't working for me in a lot of particular ways. And uh, as I was going through this sort of quest to understand my own identity, I also wanted to understand my artistic identity or the language that I, that I was using and what was my relationship as a black woman to the history of you know, grand oil painting and why did I like it so much? Because I associated it with a kind of power, like a kind of a masculine power that, that goes hand in hand with, uh, you know, exploring new worlds and, and colonizing them. 
Okay, here's another um, video that I found featuring Kara Walker. You'll be able to see her putting some of her artwork up on display. And she did find her power through silhouette. So this is in a gallery in New York where she's putting some of her work on display. This gives you a sense of scale. She's applying glue to the back of this um, to then, you can see, attach it to the wall. So you get a, another idea of a sense of the scale of Kara Walker's art. And then I'll also have it where I'll um, show you her talking about her artwork some more in just a moment. So let's hear again from the contemporary African-American female artist, Kara Walker. I have to maybe credit my 24-year-old self for making a, a couple of good moves. When I started showing work, I was in Providence, Rhode Island as a student. I was 24 and had a you know, big breakout piece at the Drawing Center in New York City. And it's delicate because the only two things that are holding them together are at the fingertips. This is Huck Finn in a dress and his foot is gonna land about here. People were just interested and curious. Galleries were calling and wanted to know more, and artists they wanted to warn me against having a big success at a young age. I kind of felt like, well, I don't know myself yet, and they don't know me either, but if I stay in Providence and take these opportunities as they come, that's good. And it is good, and I'm happy that we get the opportunity to see some of her artwork and learn a little bit about the artist Kara Walker. Now, freeze framed here, do you recognize that artwork in the background? That's an artist we studied earlier in the year, another famous contemporary making artwork now, African-American artist, Kehinde Wiley. So I just wanted to show that. You'll actually see they, through her artwork, like you see his artwork again in the background starts to go into focus right there you can see a Kehinde Wiley work. So now I'm going to show you about the creation of our artwork. All right I've got my sketchbook out here and I'm turning to a new page um, but actually what I'm going to go to before I start creating my silhouette is I want to have a plan and so in the back on the back page Artists use sketchbooks to plan out their artwork. So back here I did some thumbnail sketches, which are small planning sketches, because I wanted to think through what is my idea before I start creating it. This is also where I tested my Sharpie to see that it does bleed through and that I'd need to have a protective paper. These are silhouette images that I found online, those, those printouts there. You can look up silhouette online to get ideas for imagery, or you can think of your own images based on the story, the narrative that you would like to tell. I'm telling about a day at the beach. I kept some of my black paper because I wanted to still be able to use it for a protective paper um, underneath, and so... Um, that's why I cut that part off. And I'm using my white color pencil to draw in my items that I'm going to cut out. Um, it's a good use for our white color pencil because it does show up on the black. So I can draw it, cut it out. Um, notice I cut the bigger shape. Here I zoom in so you can see. And then, so I cut the big shape of the hand. I'm thinking about our handprints in the sand at the beach um, with my family. And then I cut the large shape and then I cut the little details out around it. It's easier to cut the fine details if I've um, made the shape a little smaller first. So, and when I glue them down, I if you, like if I had any of the white pencil drawing still showing, I, I glue that side down so that you don't see the white pencil unless I want you to. There are a few places where I go in and add white pencil detail, but for the most part, and that kind of violates the silhouette because no interior details in a silhouette, but it's okay if you have a few little interior details. I just wanted to make sure that you could tell that was indeed a kite, so I added the, the diagonal lines and the horizontal line. So I am telling a story about um, imagery, using imagery to tell a story about a day at the beach um, with me and my family. The hands representing me and my husband and our two daughters and then the kite and then we had a kite um, and then we were digging in the sand too. So that's what my story is about. I've used the black paper for the large shapes and even some of the little details like those little triangles for the um, the little tassels on the flag. 
But when it comes to my, um, oh, look, I'm making a little sailboat that we, we saw some shrimp boats and sailboats in the ocean. Um, and I also felt like that area of my picture was too empty. And I wanted to have a good composition. I wanted all of the areas of my picture to feel balanced. There we go. Do you see I used a Sharpie? I wasn't going to, I didn't feel like I could cut that kite string out of paper. So I did use a Sharpie for that. So if you have little fine details that you feel like you're not going to be able to cut out of paper, you can draw those in either with Sharpie or with a black crayon would work too. And now I'm carefully using my glue stick to glue all of my items. Notice that I arranged them first before I started gluing them down. If today you don't have time to glue them down, you can save them in an envelope and then glue them tomorrow. Tomorrow you'll have time to finish up any of the artworks that you started this week that you didn't have time to finish. You might need to go back and finish your um, any of those pictures. So I'll talk to you about that tomorrow. So not to worry if you don't finish. Save those pieces. Have all your pieces ready before you start gluing. Um, and then arrange them so you get just the right composition, the arrangement of those shapes, then you're ready to glue. All right, guys, I'm excited to get to see you get started on your Carol Walker-inspired silhouette pictures. Enjoy.